All right, here's just a preview of what we're going to make in this video. Um, also, I have a Patreon if you want to become a patron or like or subscribe. And in this video, I'm not going to talk about CSS properties, but just so you know, there's certain supported CSS properties that you can do. And so maybe after you're done making this, you can add some of your own CSS properties. Okay, hi there. So in this video, I'm going to make a little svelte native alcohol money calculator. So I'm not endorsing drinking alcohol, but for those of us who do, uh, this will help you to calculate how much you're paying per uh, amount of alcohol in your drink. Okay, like per per, per unit. So uh, if you don't know how to set up your project, you can either use the REPL um, or you can follow these instructions. Just dget this, change directory, npm install. This won't be here. I just added that in over here. And then TNS preview. Okay, so just do those four things. And then you'll get something like this. Um, you'll scan this. And let me see here. And make sure you have these two guys um, installed on your phone. So you'll use Playground and then you'll scan the QR code here up there that I showed you. And that'll get you up to go. So watch my other videos um, if you can't figure that out. Whoops. There we go. Okay, so um, here I am. Here I have an action bar. So this action bar title will give you up here whatever this is. Then a stack layout. Make sure you have some kind of layout for your app. And this will just stack them on top of each other. Kind of like column flex. Um, not exactly, but it'll just dunk, dunk, dunk. Just like that. So lab label here, it'll have a text. And that will be how usually how you put text on the screen. Um, and so here are the variables I have, cost per drink. This is the formula, I believe. So basically, we're going to prompt the user for these three amounts, and then this will update that here. And I'm going to add a style equals p-20. Um, I'm not quite sure where this is coming from yet, but I know this exists, and that should add padding. So when you save, it's supposed to update automatically. Um, you might get some lag. I don't know. It might take a while to update. But hopefully that gets there. Well, also, I've done that wrong because it should be class safe. OK, so first thing we're going to do is use a text field to prompt the user for the cost of the drink. There we go. OK, so this down there, cost per drink, that's going to be the output. And this app isn't going to be very pretty. I'm just going to use a, diff a few different, um, uh, what are these called, elements? Or uh, no, what are they called? Components to show you kind of like uh, what you can use. So cost, I'm going to use text field. So text field is kind of like an input field. Um, this lets the user type into the text field. Um, and you can do keyboard type if you want to force them to use a number keyboard, for example. Um, although on iPhone, you'll have to see, you know, it kind of depends. This is the Android, but you'll see I have a number because I put keyboard type as number, so it has a number pad here. OK, so and I'll put a label on, above it to prompt them for this cost. So what was the cost of the drink? So text equals what was the cost of the drink? And then close it. So make sure you always close it like that. OK, so what was the cost of the drink? Uh, let me save that. It'll type that in. OK, and let's bind this text field. We're going to bind the. Um, I believe this is also going to be text, OK? We're going to bind that to cost. OK, so no matter what we have for cost right now, it's going to be, it's, the whole thing's going to be 0. But let's say, just so we can look, let's say these are both 1. And we'll save that. And then on my phone, whoops, I can't click here. This is just my phone. I'm using Reflector 3 to show my phone. So it's a 0 right now. Let's say I put it to a 3. Yep, cool. So it's updating, you'll see, as this number gets higher. Um, so that's a lot. OK, so next I'm going to show you use a button to prompt. So this probably isn't the best user experience, but I'm just going to show you that you can do this. OK, so we're going to make a button. And then it'll say, oh, let me close it. So click me to, or um. Amount. So let's just say amount. Amount question mark. And then on click, it's going to prompt the user. So, or sorry, it's going to be on tap. So with the button, you got to do untap. Uh, there's a few things. You can look in the API that I show you. There's also on double tap. They show you the events that you can do. But we just want to do a 
tap equals, and then it's just like normal a function. And here we're going to do, what is that? We're going to do prompt. So this is kind of like, um, actually, I forget what it is. It's not like alert. It's like uh, the opposite of alert where you ask for input. So prompt, this is going to be what you say. So how many ounces, let me put this, how many ounces? I'll just say that to keep it short. So prompt how many ounces, and then if you want, you can pass it another argument, which will be like a default. So let's say, let's assume they're drinking beer. We'll just put a 12 there. Okay, um, so let's see if that works. Save that. Maybe format this a bit. Cool, so here's a button, and when I click it, it'll prompt. So how many ounces? 12, but they can come here and change it. Oh, and we might want to make that a number prompt, although I'm not sure how to do that, so we won't do that for now. Okay, so it'll prompt them, have 12. So after this, actually, we should probably make this a different function because this is going to return a promise with uh, whatever they type in to uh, the prompt, okay? So down here, we're going to write the function handle uh, amount. Okay, and then I'll copy and paste this into there. And then we can delete all of this and just put handle amount. So that when it's tapped on, it'll call this function and it'll prompt them. This will return a promise dot then with a response. And it'll, there'll be a response dot result and there'll be a uh, response dot text, which is what they type in. So we're going to set amount equal to parse int, since it'll be a string res dot text. Okay, so we'll, you would probably want to add error handling in case they don't type in a number, but for now this will be okay. So amount will be set to parse int and, or parse int, whatever they typed in. And then up here, let's add a label so that we can see on the screen what they have. So amount, and then below that, we'll put label bind text to amount. Okay, let's save that. Let's see if that works. Okay, so I have it as one right now. Click on amount. Oops, I can't click there. Amount. 12. Okay, so there we go. So it was set to 12. Cool. And let's see if I change this to 2. Okay, so it seems like the numbers are working. Something's happening down there. Okay, uh, so last thing we need to do is add a slider for the percent. So I'm going to use a slider because it has to be between 0 and 100. I don't know if 100 is possible, but slider is just going to be like that. The value, the default can be five. This this is skewed towards beer drinkers, I guess. So bind value. Uh, let's bind it to the percent here. So let's put it at five. Bind it there, and then we'll probably want to have another label to print out. Um, so on one hand, we'll need text equals percent elk. And then we'll print out, just like we've done before, bind the text equals percent. OK, let's try that. Let's see if that works. Also, you might get some errors like this, but um, it says it's not a valid binding, but it seems to work fine. Okay, so here we got our slider down here. Let's see if that works. Cool. So it goes up and down. What was the cost of your drink? Let's say I bought a $5 drink, and it was 12 ounces, and the percent of alcohol was 5. Okay, so then cost per drink. So a normal standard drink is 12 ounces, 5%. That's like beer. Uh, and I paid $5 for it. So something weird is happening here, but I'm not going to worry about that because that's some JavaScript thing that you can probably figure out. But here's our little app. Um, so we're using label, button, slider, and the prompt uh, functionality. 
Okay, so that's everything. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have any ideas for future videos or if you just run into trouble. Um, and that's all. Bye.